Help support Name Explain by leaving a like and a comment, sharing this video and by subscribing to the channel. Okay, so I'm well aware that the question in the title of this video might seem incredibly stupid for a lot of people watching, but from personal experience of people saying to me that they don't have an accent, and from conversations slash forum posts I found online, I really feel like we need to address this phenomenon. Is it really possible to not have an accent of any kind? Well, no, of course it isn't. It's literally impossible to be able to speak and not have an accent. Everyone who can talk alive on this planet today and throughout history has or did have an accent of some kind. Granted, not all accents are as pronounced as one another, but an accent is still there, I promise you. Even artificial voices like Apple's Siri or Amazon's Alexa have accents, and those accents can even change depending on the country you're using them in. Yeah, we have our own special British Siri here. There's even claims that dogs have accents. If dogs can maybe have accents, then you too definitely have an accent. So the answer to this question is no, you can't not have an accent. That's the video, I guess. Bye. Okay, so obviously there's a tad more to this video. Despite the fact that everyone on this planet has an accent of some kind, there are still people out there who insist that they don't speak with one. The question I really want to delve into is not so much, can you not have an accent, but instead, why do some people think that they don't have an accent? But that doesn't make for an as interesting YouTube video name, so here we are, I suppose. There are three main reasons, as I feel, why someone would think they lack an accent. Reason number one is the simple fact they are stupid. I'm not the biggest fan of this idea, I have to admit. I don't like boiling masses of people down to something as simple as being stupid, but sometimes honestly that is the case. The second reason being down to the fact they live in incredible isolation. Someone could live a life where they only interact or engage with people who have the same accent as them, so wouldn't think they have an accent. Accents are odd in the fact the concept of them only really exists because there are multiple of them. If everyone spoke in the exact same way around the world, then we wouldn't really be having this discussion, as the concept of accents wouldn't exist at all. For example, take the city of Newcastle upon Tyne, or or just Newcastle. This city in the UK has a very distinct accent known as the Geordie accent. Why it's called that is a whole story unto itself. It's the accent of people like presenters Anton Deck and singer Cheryl Tweedy. If someone born in Newcastle with this accent lived their entire life in the city, only ever interacted with people with the same accent as theirs, and only ever consumed TV shows, movies, radio stations, and internet content from people with the same accent as them, then they would believe they don't have an accent at all, as everyone in their life experience speaks the same way as them. So accent wouldn't really be a thing. Granted, this is a very extreme example, and with just how interconnected the world is in this day and age, the chances of someone being completely isolated from all other accents in the world are pretty slim but it could happen. In fact, it probably is the case with some remote tribes of people who are not fully integrated with the rest of the world like the North Senegalese Islanders, though I doubt accents are a key talking point among these people. The third reason as to why some people might think they don't have an accent is probably the most prevalent of them all, however, with that reason being the fact that they have an accent which has been dubbed by their society slash country as the standard accent. This last reason only really works on a nation by nation basis. In example, if someone from France insists they have no accent, I'm sure they would even admit they have some degree of accent compared to those in places like Brazil or Jamaica. If they are still claiming they have no accent whatsoever, then feel free to circle back to reason one. But in regards to standard accents, many countries have deemed a specific way of talking the main language in the land as the standard way of doing so. These standard accents can come about for a variety of reasons. Most of the time they relate to historic ties, the geography of the land slash their main settlement, and the way in which influential people have spoken the land. For example, here in the UK, and especially England, the accent present in the southeast and parts of London are seen as the standard. And I need to stress the southeast. The southwest has its own thing going on. It's this accent as the southeast has historically been the epicenter of England. It's where London is, and the part of the country first settled by the Romans and the like. Plus, it's where many influential people have originated from, various prime ministers and the royal family, for example. For context, the South East accent is the kind of accent you would most likely hear a BBC news reporter using, or hear in a TV show or movie. Most characters in the Harry Potter films have a South East accent, for example. It's not quite how the royal family speak, that's received pronunciation, which is seen as the ultimate perfect way of speaking as opposed to the standard. In fact, a great example of a South East accent is what you're hearing right now. I have a South East English accent, and that's because I was born in this part of 
loved the nation and lived most my life there too. This is probably why I have personally heard people say they don't have an accent, as they too are from the southeast, have the same accent as me, which is seen as the standard, and misconstrued the idea of having a standard accent as meaning they have no accent. I actually left the southeast a few years back now, and I've been away from that standard way of speaking for long enough and surrounded by people without my accent that when I go back to the southeast to visit friends and family, I notice that southeast accent an awful lot more. Trust me, it's just as pronounced as all the other accents of the UK. It's just been deemed the standard so people don't recognize as much as its own unique thing. The USA meanwhile has a thing known as the general American accent. This is pretty much what it sounds like, a generic American accent used once again in news reports and commonly on TV shows and in movies. There's a lot of debate as to where the general American accent comes from, and if it even exists at all, but one source says the accent is a blend of accents heard in the West, parts of New England, and in the north of the Midlands. States like Indiana and Michigan are often seen as being their homeland, and apparently Michigan is a key place in which people claim they don't have an accent, so that makes sense too. For many non-Americans, the SoCal accent is often viewed as the standard American accent. This is because it's the accent which is heard in countless movies and TV shows, as most of them are produced in Southern California in Hollywood. This actually reminds me of when I went to Florida as a kid. I'd grown up watching loads of American TV, and accents in those shows never really stood out to me. Yet when I went to Florida, I really remember hearing how different their accents were to mine. Looking back, it's probably because I'd grown up hearing the SoCal and general American accent on various TV shows. But that's just the standards of the UK and the USA. Many other nations have accents which they consider to be their standard too. A Reddit thread posted by the user Exporter of Gold asked this exact same question, and responses included someone from Brazil saying the accent of Rio de Janeiro is standard. Someone mentioned how Canada has the three main accents of Quebecois, Nufi, and the rest. A South African mentioned how the accent of white Afrikaners is the standard there. And there's all kinds of debate over the true general American accent. Like I said, it's a really debated subject. I even asked on my own community tab this question, and some would say that the accent of Kuala Lumpur is often seen as the standard of Malaysia. Another mentioned that people from Hanover are seen as speaking the standard form of German, and someone coming from France said that the Parisian accent is seen as the standard. I even pestered the people on my Facebook group, Friends of Name Explain, and they chimed in saying that the standard Aussie accent may come from Sydney, and how Bulgaria doesn't even really have accents at all, but dialects instead. Thank you to everyone who chipped in, and from all this, we can see that the standard accents tend to centralize around the nation's capital or its most populous area. This also shows us that most parts of the world do indeed have some notion of a standard accent. It isn't just an Anglosphere issue. When it comes to the idea of standard accents, I feel there are two big issues with them. The first issue being the concept of a standard language is a completely artificial one. There is no such thing as a standard accent within our biology or in our mouths. Everyone just talks different ways, and nature hasn't ever been like, this is the correct way of speaking. Standard accents accents, as mentioned, arise from facts such as the historical and geographic importance of the area it derives from, as well as having influential people speak with that accent. Any accent really could be a country's standard accent. In example, and this is just a tad tinfoil hat, if somehow Newcastle was and always had been the capital of England, and the royal family all came from there and spoke with a Geordie accent, then this accent would probably be viewed as the standard British English accent, and the South East accent would be seen as another non-standard accent of England. It sounds weird to us now, but if we lived in this alternative history, it's all we would know. Though, that's just my own idea I really need to stress. Maybe we should move the capital and the royals to Newcastle, wait a few hundred years, and see what happens to standard English. Another big issue with them is that by declaring one accent as the standard, we are kind of ostracizing all the other accents of the nation. Things like the Scouse accent of the UK or the Cajun accent of the USA are not seen as their nation's standard accents. They are seen as alternative ways of speaking, which in turn can imply they are wrong or incorrect. Of course, they are not incorrect ways of talking, as there is no one correct way of speaking. But society has deemed them non-standard, so they get an image of being a lesser accent. People with these non-standard accents can even be bullied for the way they speak too, and that's really not fair at all. And a lot of that bullying ultimately stems from the idea that that accent is non-standard. Once again, from living somewhere where people did speak what was deemed a standard accent, I remember other kids from places like the north of England getting bullied for their accents. It's really crap, and it all relates to the idea of there being one standard correct way of speaking. And of course, the idea of there being a standard accent, the one single accent which is deemed a correct way to speak, can often lead to people thinking they have no accent at all, especially when compared to other accents in their country that are seen as non-standard. 
So next time you hear someone claim they don't have an accent, please tell them why they're wrong. Or better yet, show them this video. Hey, even try and convince them to go on Patreon or something. Name Explained depends on viewers like yourself supporting the channel financially on Patreon. So a huge thank you to everyone who does. Donating just $1 a month helps the channel amazingly and gets you bonuses including ad-free videos, exclusive content, the power to request ideas to be made into actual Name Explained videos, and your name at the end of the video with all these awesome people. Visit patreon.com forward slash Name Explained or click the link down below to find out how you too can support the channel. Thank you. Thanks for reaching the end of the video. Why not watch another and subscribe to keep up to date on all things Name Explain? You can find myself on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT and join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain to talk with myself and other name nerds. All of that will be linked down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.